Okay, so not how I planned to start this video, but I forgot to turn my microphone on, so I'm going to have to do a little voiceover for this first view to keep you guys up to date. Little warm up in the net, and then on to hole number one. So we start off with a 390 yard par four. There's a cross bunker that cuts out at about 300 yards, but as the wind's in two, we should be absolutely fine with driver here. Great swing there. Just slightly left, but it's gonna be absolutely fine. Just find the left semi rough and it's going to leave me around about 130 yards in. So I got a pitching wedge here. Lie was a little bit rough, but got a good contact onto it and chuck this one into about 15 foot. An absolute stunning day as well. So surprised to see the sun out in the UK this time of year, but you've got to get out there when it is. So first attempt at birdie. And I just pulled that one ever so slightly, so that's going to be good enough for our par. Hole two, an absolute corker. Par three, up the hill, 140 yards. This one plays slightly up and a little bit into, so it's going to be all of a pitching wedge, this one. A fantastic golf shot into about 12 feet. This was a perfect 3 percenter straight in the middle. Let's go. One under through two. So moving on to hole three, 362 yards. Now they've put in a new hazard here on the left hand side that you can see there. That really does come into play. But downwind should be all right with driver today. Give this one an absolute rip. And now we have audio. Sit back, relax and enjoy this one. Now top tip for anyone that's creating content turn on your mic that might help you if you're trying to get some audio out here um, you guys should be able to hear me now because my mic is now turned on but anyway I've got 117 slightly down the puff I've got 52 degree let's just try and hit like a 110 shot get to two under par three three would be lovely jubbly Oh, get right a bit. Good yardage, just slightly left. Look at the size of that one, man. Bloody hell, that's a corker. Right, so not a bad shot in there, actually. We was a touch short and left, so we got around 30 feet for the birdie. Outside chance. And as I was saying on the first hole, you wouldn't have heard me because my mic wasn't on, but straight and firm is pretty good line in the... Uh, Winter time, UK greens, so come on, roll this one in. Oh my God, hit it. Oh God, that was firm. I'd highly recommend to everyone, these are the putts that you do not want to keep leaving yourself. Um, little knee knockers that are like four, three, four feet away. You know, in the middle of the summer when the greens are good, you'd back yourself on these, but at the moment, it's just uh, pot luck. So come on, nice and firm, dead straight. <laughs> 307 yard par four, the fourth. Beautiful little hole. If we can get it down that slope in the middle of the fairway, you leave yourself no more than 60, 70 yards in. So. Job one, find the fairway. Okay, round about 30 yards here. Got a little 60 degree. Just try and nip one in there. Oh, spin, 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 spin. Pretty good shot in there, actually. I thought that was gonna run out a bit more, but Took a real soft bounce, which was nice. Okay, can we make another birdie early on? Yes, sir. 
Okay, hole number five, par three, up the hill, 117 playing 122, so five yards up, but we have got a puff of wind behind us here. So I'm gonna go with a strong 52, and hopefully this one doesn't spin loads. Oh, I need you to go. Okay, really poor tee shot. Just finished like 10 yards short of the green. So, tough up and down now. Nice little bumpy one in there. Disgusting. This is where in the sim you just pick up, go to the next hole, you're in gimme zone. But unfortunately out here we don't get that luxury. So, let's just roll it in. Good swing. Wow, amazing. Well done, darling. Okay, hole number six, around 360 yards, kind of similar to the fourth hole. Goes down, a little dip, and once we're over there, you know, if we can find that down slope, we should have nothing left into this green. So, come on, good swing with this freeward. Just gonna start it down the right. Play that nice draw. Come on. <laughs> it was so low, but I've got away with uh, got away with one there. Let's put it that way. I think that's absolutely fine. Okay, we got 102 yards downhill, two yards, so 100 yards on the buzzer. Um, I've got sandwich here. Just try and dial it into that number. There's a little bit of downwind, but as we're in a little bit of a, um, kind of in a little valley here, so the wind won't really affect it, I don't think. So let's see if we can dial this one in. Wow, that was down it. When I say that was down it, that was down the flag stick. Thought it almost hit the boy as it went past, but still a fantastic shot in there. We've got around probably 10, 11 feet for our birdie. Winter greens, aim straight, hit it hard. Come on, baby, let's roll it in. in some putts today, baby. So hole number seven, a beautiful little hole up the hill. Kind of a short one, actually. If you hit a nice two iron to the end of the fairway, leaves you nothing more than a wedge in. So let's hit a good two iron up there. Nice little stingy. Slapsville, man. Wow. Gets away with it. It's perfect, it's in the middle of the fairway, but that was a slapper. Right, now I've got 118 playing 125 from here. Pin is kind of where that black and white circle thing is that you can see in the distance. Um, I'm actually gonna hit a nine iron here because whenever you hit wedge up here or whatever, it stalls so much in the wind just as it gets above the trees. So gotta make sure we hit a little low one here. Probably play like a 135 kind of number. Should be perfect, so. Let's dial this one in. And if that is there, that is perfect. I even said that that stalls in the air and we come up 10 yards short. Not ideal, but we've got a little chip now. Grass is growing into me, which is just horrid. You really got to pick the ball first on these ones. So, um, Let's keep the concentration level up and focus on this one. Okay, not awful. We've only gone and left ourselves a bloody tester, haven't we? Pitch mark. 
always repair them if you see them. That is not ideal on our line. But we've got around about six foot here, five and a half feet, right to left. Probably a good 2%, but it's straight uphill, so the arm goes straighter, less break uphill, more downhill. Just outside that right lip, should be perfect. Wow, that is dreadful. Okay, eighth hole, par five, about 490. So great chance here. Bit of a shame to drop a shot on that last hole, but um, we're playing to a temporary green here. If we can reel it in, I've got to really try and keep my swing speed at a nice speed, not an aggressive speed. So try and retain the inner beast and uh, just hit a little fairway finder. Can you drop me another one, please? Just up the left, should be all right, but... Yeah, well, not good, lads. Provisional ball. That one was a little bit quick. Maybe I need to hit it harder. All right, come on. Nice one, down the middle. Much better swing, that one there. Very good. Right in the mayor's office, that one. Okay, in a bit of tree trouble, just take the meds, come on out, leave us 120, 130 in, should be no dramas. Oh, sit. Yeah, that one's absolutely fine. Okay, 118 playing 116, down the hill. A touch. I'm actually going to go pitch and wedge. I had 52, but we're going to go soft pitch and wedge. Just try and dial it into that number. Play like a 125 shot would be money, I think. Okay, good. Okay, when I say this green is rough, I mean it is rough. This is like the uh, temporary green, so she gonna be bumpy. We'll take the two part here all day long. Just lag it up there. Go on then. Oh. Okay, we've made it. Hole number nine. This is clocking in at 100 yards on the buzzer, a little bit uphill. Wind is kind of out the left, maybe a touch. Um, not affect it too much, keep it nice and low and controlled. Beautiful finishing hole. Let's see if we can end with a bit of birdie sauce, shall we? Let's try and dial this one in. Oh, you're joking me. The one time you don't want to hit it top level. I'm not even joking. I do not know how that has actually stayed there. That is probably inches from going back down next to the flag, but that's golf for you. Now we're left with a tough two part, all about speed on this one. See if we can just make this a nice speed down the hill. <sighs> 
So that was a nice little round of free under par in the end. So good to just get out there in the fresh air. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe as it really, really helps me out. I really appreciate all the support. It means the absolute world to me. See you all for the next one.